these are the general entries for this problem so in the before class we wrote the general entries up to the four okay after knowing about the trade discount and the cash discount okay so see the problem from up to completed is fourth date see the next transactions sold goods to anup worth rupees 40000 allowed him 10% trade discount and 5% cash discount he paid cash immediately okay he paid cash immediately so in the before transaction sir half of the amount paid immediately what about the remaining half of the amount is in a credit now nah? so but in this date sold goods to anup worth 40000 and hello discount is 10 percent trade discount and 5 percent cash discount so he paid cash immediately okay see the next is sold goods to rajesh worth rupees 60000 10 percent trade discount and 5 percent cash discount half of the amount received immediately when we have to sold the goods what we received we received the cash now so here half of we received only the half of the amount what about the remaining half is an a credit means that half of the amount will be received in the future okay next see purchased goods for cash purchased goods for cash rupees 10000 that is 10% tax means what means what value added tax is 10% next is sold goods for cash rupees 20000 vat charged 10% and cottage charge to customer is 500 next is goods destroyed by fire okay some goods are destroyed by fire so what are the general entries if the goods are uninsured so whenever we have to purchase a goods from the company or any organization what means we we apply the some insurance policies now so at that time whenever goods are destroyed either that insurance company can claim the claim or not so if the goods are uninsured or insured the insurance company admitted the claim in full suppose insurance company can give the full amount of the claim so or insurance company admitted the claim to the extent of 6000 okay now see the journal entries in these cases continuation problem only sold goods to anup worth rupees 40000 what is the entry for generally this so in this he mentioned now uh, so he paid cash immediately so it is under cash transactions regarding to the sales so sold goods to anup worth rupees 40000 allowed him 10 percent discount and 5 percent cash discount what is the entry for the cash sales whenever we sold goods what we receive we receive cash now so what is the entry is cash account data to sales account so write down cash account data cash account data to sales account and to discount account so first which discount we deducted first we deduct the trade discount after the cash discount so generally is now see here working notes 40,000 into 
Trade discount is how much is percentage? 10% now. So 10% is 4000. Okay. So this is what a trade discount. So we deduct first uh, from this 40,000. Okay. So that 40,000 minus 4000 is how much? 36,000. Okay. 36,000 into cash discount. How much is percentage is cash discount is 5 divided by 100. A 1800 1800 is what cash discount okay this is the discount so direct that uh, 36,000 minus 1800 is cash okay so total is how much 36,000 this 36,000 is cash received okay and the sales amount is how much 34200 and this cash discount is how much 1800 so discount is 1800 sales is 34200 so that total of cash account is 36000 Narration is okay. Sorry, sorry. Write down this discount on the debit side because total sales now. I forgot to write here discount cash account data, discount account data. Cash account data, discount account data, cash account is 34,200 and discount is 1800. So, total of the sales is 36,000. Okay, narration is being, being goods sold, being goods sold. Trade discount trade discount and cash discount received. So it is cash transaction. So what is the entry? Cash account data, discount account data to sales account. So total of the amount after deducting the trade discount, how much is left? That amount will be right under the sales account. Okay, next transaction is sold goods to Rajesh worth rupees sixty thousand and ten percent is trade discount and five percent cash discount. Half of the amount received immediately. Okay, after the sold goods to some person we received only 50 percent amount 50 percent amount is not received that will be received in the future so off of the cash transaction and off of the credit transaction so now write down the entry is what uh, so off only we received now so that is cash account data cash account data it is up to the cash transaction remaining half of the amount received now. then remaining half of the amount is credit now here who, who is a receiver of that goods is Rajesh now so that cash account data Rajesh account data next discount account data discount account data to sales account Okay, now see the calculation. 
sixty thousand is the total of the amount after we first we deduct the trade discount. Is six thousand is the trade discount. First we deduct the trade discount. Sixty thousand minus six thousand. How much is left is fifty four thousand. Okay, so this fifty four thousand is the total sales value. Into five percent is cash discount. Na. This two thousand seven hundred is a cash discount. Okay. So total of the sales is how much? Fifty four thousand. How much is a cash discount? Is two thousand seven hundred. Then how much is the remaining? Fifty four thousand minus two thousand seven hundred. Two thousand seven hundred is fifty one thousand three hundred is a value of the sales after deducting the discount. Okay, under this fifteen thousand one hundred, they received half of the amount. So how much is half under this fifteen thousand three hundred minus divide or divided by two? Twenty five thousand six fifty is a half of the amount. Twenty five thousand six fifty, twenty five thousand six fifty. Okay, got it. So write down the narration. Being good sold. Being good to sold. Trade discount cash discount off of the amount received Half of the amount received immediately. Next phase. Purchase a good for cash rupees ten thousand. Value added tax pay ten percent. So what is the entry? Entry is purchase a second data. Purchase a second data. Vat account data. Purchase a second data. Vat account data to cash account. Okay. So how much vat is paid? Ten percent. For selling the goods, whenever VAT is there, we have to collect that VAT. Under this purchases, for we deduct the VAT. Okay. So ten percent. So that ten thousand into ten percent means ten divided by hundred is one thousand. Okay, so purchase price is nine thousand and buyer is one thousand. Total of the cash is ten thousand. Okay, so what is the narration? Being good 
goods purchase B good purchase in cash. Okay, next is sold the goods for cash twenty thousand. VAT charge ten percent and cottage charge to customer is five hundred. So cottage is also included in that cash. Okay, total is how much twenty thousand five hundred. So VAT charge. What is the entry? Cash account data. Cash account data to sales account. Cash account data to sales account to VAT account. Under this only cottage charges to the customer. So total amount is how much? Twenty thousand. Under the twenty thousand VAT charges. How much is percentage of VAT is ten percent? So that twenty thousand into ten percentage is how much? Two thousand. Okay, two thousand is VAT. So two and its sales value is how much? Twenty thousand. Okay, so total of the cash account is twenty two thousand. And sales is twenty thousand and VAT is two thousand. Okay. So cartage charge it to the customer. Some type of an these are expenses now. So this will be charge to the customers. Okay, so generally this cartage is a revenue expenditure. Okay, so this cartage is a revenue expenditure for the business, but when it is paid by the customer, we are not settling it out of our pocket. Rather than loaded with the cost of the product and is earned along with the income from sales made to the the customer. Okay, so for this entry is. Cottage account data to sales account. Cottage account data to sales account. How much is amount is rupees five hundred. Rupees five hundred. Okay, so in the this increase the sales value. Or else later, suppose any customer. Pays this cottage expenses directly to the cottage personals. Then the time entry is what uh, cash account data to sales account because customer is paying now. We are the receivers. Then the time cash account are customer cash account is debit and sales account is credit. But here this cottage charge to the customer now. So then the time entry is what cottage account data to sales account. So narration is. Being goods sold for cash. Okay. Then last entry is sorry. Last transaction is goods destroyed by fire. Rupees ten thousand. How would you deal if the goods are uninsured? So we write the three general entries, and at these three conditions will be there now. So, if the goods are uninsured or insured, the company admitted the claim in full. Next is insurance company admitted the claim to the extent of rupees six thousand. So that goods destroyed by fire rupees ten thousand. First condition is what if the goods are uninsured means. Uh, 
uninsured means we are not uh, recover that amount okay what is a journal entry journal entry is loss of goods by fire account data are loss of goods by fire account data are to purchases account how much is amount is 10000 10000 narration is being being the goods destroyed by fire being the goods destroyed by fire okay this is the entry for the first condition if the goods are uninsured next second condition is insured the insurance company admitted the claim in full suppose insurance company give the full amount then that time what is the entry okay so here insurance company admitted the claim in full now so at that time entry is what we receiving cash is receiving now for this goods destroyed by fire it says loss to the insurance company na so in this insurance company gives the amount to na so what is the entry for that all the expenses and losses come under the debit side na so for this entry is insurance company account data are insurance company account data to loss of goods account rupees 10000 rupees 10000 next third condition is what insurance company admitted the claim to the extent of 6000 only insurance company can give the claim up to the 6000 then that time entry is loss by fire account data are loss by fire account data are insurance company account data are insurance company account data are to purchases account see here insurance company is debit side na how much insurance company can give the claim 6000 then how much loss by fire is remaining is 4000 then total of the purchases is how much 10000 okay so this loss will go to the profit and loss account so entry narration is being loss of goods and insurance company company admitting the claim admitting the claim claim extend to rupees 6000 okay one is uninsured when the insurance company insure full amount or when the insurance company can give the claim up to the 6000 okay these are the several journal entries okay on different different conditions okay so after these topics completed next we'll discuss about the trial balance
okay from the next class we discuss about the trial balance so afterwards i will give one homework problem to you do that problem okay